Yo, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you how you can get motion blur on any of your clips. If you want, you can do it on your Fortnite clips, Valorant, CSGO. It doesn't matter what game it is. So first off, uh, you wanna open DaVinci Resolve and then you wanna make a project, pretty simple. And then for the timeline resolution, we're gonna change it to 2560 and 1440. So the rendering is in 1440p. The timeline frame rate is how much FPS. So a 60 FPS we want. And yeah, that's basically it. And then click on change. And then you want to drag the clip in your in your uh, edit uh, thing where you can edit it. So and then what you want to do is want to click on the right click this the whole clip click on open infusion page when you are here click on control spacebar then uh, the select tool will open what you want to search is vector motion blur the VB, vbi and click on add and then you click again on control spacebar and then op and you search optical flow of and then when you have it, it's basically done. You can, the vector motion blur gives like the motion blur like a lot. So if you want, you turn it all the way up. But I think that we have to do it in this correction. Yes. If you have it done, you can, the skill you can choose how much you want it. At the best is usually the basic or a little higher or a little lower. So yeah, what we're gonna do, we're doing it a little higher so you can actually see what is the difference between normal and uh, motion blur. And yeah, that's basically it. If you uh, see this, you can uh, play it, but it's really laggy, it doesn't matter. When you render it, and I'm gonna show you how, uh, it will be pretty pretty nice it don't have legs don't have anything so you go to deliver under here what you want to do is you want to name it like i'll name it motion blur and then location doesn't matter where you put it like a good uh, you can do it in the downloads file doesn't really matter format mp4 and then we already did the resolution over here so that's basically done so we add it to the render queue and then we click on save and then render all and then it will render it takes a little longer than you think and when it's done you have 1440p clip with a, a really high quality good motion blur you can switch the motion blur up and down like what your what do you think the best is you use that so yeah i hope this helps i uh, got a lot of questions about this so yeah enjoy making uh, crazy clips and uh, posting it and attack uh, me in it if you want have a good rest of your day boys bye